thank you. For those of you who are subscribed to my channel, welcome. For those of you who are enjoying the content but they have not subscribed, welcome. So, my name is Beth or Elizabeth, Queen Elizabeth to be specific, and come and join me on the mat. How better way to have fun? If you have blocks, bring them handy. If you have a ball stop, bring them handy. And we center ourselves in this easy pose. Close your eyes, draw that belly in and up. Open the palms, come as is. This yoga will target your balance. It will target the core and shoulder. So if this is cause for your attention, stick around. Let's have fun. In each of my class, I want you to have fun. It's called yoga practice for a reason, not yoga excellence. And if you fall out of a pose, Remember to smile. Sometimes we repeat a pose more than once. You have a chance not to fall and to correct the first thing. But self-practice is when we meet ourselves on the mat. It's the study of self in yoga. Okay? So we meet in child's pose. Um, it's now autumn. Almost like it. Allow yourself to come into this child's pose. So, noticing your breath in the child's pose. Making sure that you can either put a block on your heels that way your hip can touch. And then really allow your head to rest on the mat. So wherever you are, so block on the heels, maybe if you have one available, hands reach forward, maybe bring your chest to the mat more. Yeah, or heels reach back, hip towards the heels. And notice what feels comfortable. So maybe you wobble back and forth and allowing your head to come to the mat. Take a moment to set your intention. Noticing what comes to mind. Maybe where you're holding tension is really where you need to focus on your practice today. Noticing the heels and your knees shoulder and facial muscles, wanting your breath now, noticing the earth underneath you, surrendering and finding your connection. With each breath, allow yourself to surrender and breathe in and out. Now, when you have it, Start to walk your hands to your left side, drawing those hip to your heels, right to the block, surrendering your head to the mat, energizing the fingers, allowing your shoulders to soften. Walk the hands to the center. You can pause at any particular point. You can walk your hands to the right side, drawing those hip again down to the head and neck. Take a moment. Set your intention. Allow your shoulders to release. And then walk your hands forward once more. Tuck the toes under and bring yourself into all fours. Hands underneath your shoulder, knee underneath your head. So stay here for a moment. Take the right hand all the way up, reach the right hand up, right hand behind you. Take your time, just taking a circle with the right hand. 
up again to the back, under, forward, up, back. You can go fast or slow. Just allow your hands to be shoulder to the ears and place the right hand to the mat. Push into those right hand and lift the left hand all the way up. And in your breath, you get back and under five more games. Noticing whether you're going fast, maybe you're slowing down. If you're slowing down, maybe you go faster. Noticing your breath. Each movement, we are igniting our own breath because during the day, we're not breathing efficiently. Noticing your shoulder. And come down once more and release that left hand. Pushing your thumb and index finger. Make sure the middle finger is punch, pointing forward. Draw the knees off the mat, tuck the toes. Keep the knee bent, hold right here for a moment. Lengthen the spine and push yourself forward into your plank. So growing that navel in and out. Yeah? We start with the core. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. So check with your thumb and index finger. Bend the knee. Push the hip to the sky, downward facing dog. Now, so same, similarly like we did the knee, uh, the shoulder, we do the knee. Take the right leg up, bend the knee, open the hip, and just make a circle. Right leg up, bend the knee, open. So making a circle, staring that knee up and down, noticing your breath, noticing your shoulder, Lengthening the spine, pushing in the thumb and index finger just for five. Release the right leg, come forward into your plank, noticing any difference, noticing your thumb, noticing your index finger. As you exhale, press back, downward dog. Take the left leg up, same thing. Bend the knee, open, look to the left armpit circle again. Five of these, you can go fast or slow. Noticing your shoulder. Three, four, five. Extend the left leg up. Release the left leg down. Forward into your plank. Lengthen the spine. Knee, chest, and chin on the mat. Inhale, coming into cobra. Finding your elbow bending here. Rib cage draw in. Legs reach back. As you exhale, crawl the toe under, coming to all fours. Cat and cat, we're still warming up. Get knee underneath the hip, belly in, back is flat. Inhale, look up. As you exhale, round and push yourself towards your heels. Inhale, roll yourself forward, open the chest. As you round, look towards the navel, crawl here. Push your hip back into child's pose. So it's a three-part movement. Forward into your up dog, opening the chest, rather. Rounding here, look towards the navel. Push your hip towards the heels. Feel your lower lumbar. Rolling forward as you look up. As you roll, look to the navel and draw yourself down. How about two more? Inhale, looking up to the ceiling. As you exhale, rounding, pushing those thumb and index finger on the mat, crawling back into your child's pose. Inhale, last one here, look up. As you round, push into the mat, and push your hip towards the heels. Last one, you climb into tabletop. Take the right hand all the way forward, push into the left hand, take the left leg back, extend. Take a big breath here, lengthen the spine, exhale, draw elbow to knee to touch. Inhale, extend. Exhale together, just squeezing in. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. Two more. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. Inhale, extend. Finding your breath here, stay here. Push into the thumb, engage your core, draw it in and up. Exhale together. Then inhale, lengthen. Right hand catches the left ankle. Flex the left leg. Push the left leg all the way up. Looking forward, opening the chest. So if this is too much on the left hand, you can come into the forearm. 
open. Sorry about the noise. Look up, finding your length. Breathe in. Breathe out. Then inhale, right hand comes down. Finding your breath. Then exhale, draw the knee towards the chest. Five times. Inhale back, extend. Knee towards the chest. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale together. Last one. Inhale, extend. Finding your breath. Exhale together. Inhale, extend. We tap the leg down for five times. So finding your breath, exhale, lower, inhale it up, lower, inhale up, lift, opening, noticing your breath, noticing your lower lumbar. Last one, hold and lift it up, hold it there, and draw that knee down. Great job. Roll, roll your hip back to the right side, to the front, to the left. Just five times, noticing you can pause any particular spot, noticing the front, noticing the left side, to the back. Two good ones, right, front, left, and back. Last one, and right, oh, it feels good. Front, left, and back. Come back into tabletop, push into the right hand, make sure your knee is Underneath your hip, take the left hand forward, take the right leg up. So drawing that lower belly in, extend through the ball of the right foot. Finding your length, shoulder down, breathe in. Exhale, elbow to knee for five. Extend. Exhale, contracting. Two, lengthening. Draw in for three. Feel your back. Inhale, extend. Exhale together. Again, lengthen. Last one. Reach and contract it in. Hold here. Inhale, lengthen. Stay. Bend the right leg. Left hand catches the right ankle. Flex the left. So you can put a strap over that ankle. And then push into the right hand. Lift the chest. Lift the right leg up. Push in and open the chest. Again, draw your belly in. Start to look up towards the left shoulder. Lift and lengthen, navel to spine, and breathe in. Connect with your breath. And a little bit of smile here. Try to release the shoulder. Notice your breath. Again, inhale, extend that left hand forward. Noticing your breath, stay here. Exhale, left hand down. Inhale, exhale, draw that knee towards the chest for five. Extend. Knee towards the chest for four. Again, draw it in for three. Here we go for the last two. And last one. Draw in, draw shoulder down. Take the right leg back. Toe, lo toe lowers, then inhale, lift it up. So you feel your glutes lower and up. Lower and lift for two. Lift it up. Last one. Lift, hold it there. Release that right leg down. Cha cha on the left, left, front, to the right, to the back, like a figure eight. Noticing your hands, making contact with the mat. Make sure you're breathing in and out. So hopefully you feel warm. Let's do two more. Noticing your breath has it changed. Do you feel warmer? Noticing your breath. As you have it, find stillness. Tuck the toes under. Lift the knee. Keep the knee bent. Exhale, hit the legs back. Downward dog. So I'm quite stickler about your alignment. So the way to measure is to come into your plank, making sure your hands are underneath your shoulder. Toe underneath your ankle, breathe your belly in. Your back should be flat here. Then bend the knee, push into those hands, look at your thumb and index finger. Arms straight, shoulder down, and then straighten your legs. You should feel yummy. Bend the knee, push yourself forward, engage your core. Lengthen the spine, back of the neck is long. Bend the knee, arms straight. 
pushing the thumb and index finger, look towards the knee, keep those legs back. For two, rolling forward this time into your plank, pushing back into your downward dog. Rolling forward into your plank, lengthen the spine. Exhale, press back into your downward dog. Last one, rolling forward into your plank. Stay here and lift the right leg up. So pointing that toes, finding your length. Exhale, draw that right knee to the right elbow. You're in plank, right leg back, knee to elbow. Feel your core, right leg back, knee to elbow. Just five to go. Here we go. Finding your breath. Lower here, finding breath, lower your right knee towards the right wrist. Take a breath here. Inhale, lift it up. Lower your knee towards the wrist. Engage your core, lift that right knee up. Lower your knee towards the wrist. Smile, lift it up. Last two, lift it up. Last one, lift and hold up. Right leg back and up. Into the one-legged dog. Release the right leg on the mat and lower your knee to the mat, chest and chin, finding your cobra. So from here, lift your fingers and maybe wave, wave. Notice how your back starts to push down. I want you to lift the sternum up, engage your legs back, then bring your hands behind you. It should feel good. Interlace the hand, draw shoulder down, left and right, lift up. So your hands are not really consuming the stress, but now you're lifting as you lengthen the spine. Try to release the head. So looking forward is great, pointing your legs back, maybe the touch, lengthen the spine. Raise your breath. As you inhale, lift up. As you exhale, hands comes underneath the shoulder. Tuck the toes under. Finding your breath, lift the knee, downward facing dog. Great job, everybody. Same breath. Let it go. Inhale forward into your plank. So challenging yourself, maybe you do two or three or four or five. Still present and truthful to your practice. Lift the left leg up. Finding your breath, elbow to knee. Finding your length, inhale, extend. Knee to elbow. Again, extend, knee to elbow, here we go. And draw it in, last one, hold one, and lower that left knee towards the wrist. So noticing your breath, so inhale it up, slide it up, exhale it down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Two to go, inhale up, Exhale down, last one. Inhale it up, exhale down, and take that left leg all the way up. Great job, excellent. Finding your breath here, bringing your left leg down. Inhale forward into the plank. Knee, chest, chin available, or yogi push up. Inhale up dog, or cobra. Lower to your knees. Use your hand, push yourself into tabletop. Lift your hands up, lengthen. Finding that back flat, and then bring the hands behind you. Fingers point towards the shoulder for camel pose. So releasing that tension on the shoulder, open the heart, and if you're warm, you can go for hands to the heels. Belly in rib cage in head back. Noticing your breath. Your breath is constant. Your hips are pushing forward. Your shoulder is down. Where is that breath? It's right there. So if you breathe from the nostril and don't stress the body, just do what you can. And then inhale, you come back, put your hands on the heels to the back body and hands reach up. Extend, bring the hands to the mat, underneath your shoulder, tuck the toes under, and lift the knee. Press back into your downward dog. Let's measure again, forward into your plank. So from here, 
Lift your right leg up in that one-legged plank. Noticing your breath. Can you bring your knee towards the chest and bring your right leg in between the hands? Inhale, rise up. Crest and lunge, high lunge. Notice how much stuff you can do here. So knees bent, left leg extends back, lengthen the spine. Navel to spine, shoulder release as much as you can. Bring the hands behind you, interlace the hands. The left leg is still strong, same as the right leg. Push forward, so really engage that core. Then energize the left leg as I fall off and take that left leg back. So drawing that shoulder down, lengthen the spine, breathe in and out. So the more you hinge forward, the harder it is. Right leg stays straight. Now, inhale, you're gonna transfer to the right foot and bring that left leg in towards the chest. Keep drawing that shoulder down, hip flexor. Finding your left hand switch up, Extend, left hand to your left hip. Try to stay tall and then catch the outside of the right foot. Maybe this is only where you get on. Finding your balance and inhale, start to straighten the right, left leg and then the right leg and find the root of that right leg as you open the chest. Draw shoulder down, belly in, create the space before you release the left hand. Then if you have the balance, so this is one of those humbling practice. So I don't take it easy even in my own practice. And when you have it, for demo purposes, you take the left hand back and you can continue to look forward. The left side of the body, draw shoulder down. And maybe follow the gaze of the left hand and look at it. Noticing your breath. When you look around, your balance is challenged. And coming forward, hug that knee to the chest. Exhale the left leg down. Great job. Quite challenging. Inhale, hands switch up. You can take a slightly back bend by pushing the hip forward, hands back. Exhale, give thanks. Remind yourself why you have come to yoga. Lengthen the spine. Bend the knee, either step back or jump back. Plank or Chaturanga Nandasana. Inhale, up dog. Finding your breath. Top of the legs lifting, uh, top of the knee off the mat. Lengthen, keep your toes where it is. Then inhale, returning to the tippy toes into your plank. Push into the hand and lower your hip. Up dog. So there's no change, but the change is the up dog. Lift the back, flatten out your back, push into those thumb and index one. Broaden that across your chest, neck is long, and lower the hip down. Up dog. Here we go for the last one. Finding your breath, inhale. Lifting, pushing those hands. Extend those legs back, strong legs, strong back. And lower the hip, up dog. Tuck the toes under. Downward dog. So again, when you start to get fatigue in your practice, you start to slack, yeah? So bring the forearm on the mat, dolphin pose. But not only it strengthens the core, you also strengthen the shoulder. Keep the hamstring back, look towards the knee, and work your breath, yeah? Connecting with your breath. See whether you can relax the shoulder. You can bend the knee, keep working on lifting the belly. Often at time I draw my belly in and work on straightening the legs. More the legs straighten, more you find that dolphin pose. So finding your shoulder, try to release the head, start to quiet your breath. So inhale, you can come out right away. As you exhale, press into those hands, downward dog. Forward into the plank, finding those hands underneath the shoulder. Lift the left leg up. Notice when I lift my left leg up, 
and maybe about how much inches, yeah? Not too high, not too low. So extend the crown of the head on towards, and then your core start to draw in. Pushing the thumb and index finger. Draw that knee towards the chest. Lengthen the spine. Look between the hand and place the left leg in between the hand. Now, push the right heel back. Bend the knee. Look forward to lengthen like you're going for a nice run. When you're going on your max, you go. Yeah? But here we're looking forward with aim, with your breath, stretching out those psoas. Then inhale, energize, and rise up into your high lunge. So you can straighten the left leg, make sure you have that nice fluidity. Breathe in and out. Extend. Relax the shoulder, even if you do YMCA. Opening that right hip, lengthen the spine. Relax the shoulder. Then reach the hands back. Shoulder draw down. Yeah, so if you have tight shoulder, just really move your hands back and forth. Back and forth. Yeah? And then interlace the hand. Lengthen the shoulders down, belly in. Breathe in. Again, focus on the front body. Opening the chest and then lean more forward. Energize the right leg and draw off the mat. Noticing which side you are a bit wobbly. So from here, you can micro bend the left leg, but the right leg is active and work on straightening. Notice what's happening to the body. Can you relax the back of the neck? There's no stress on the neck or shoulder. Keep reaching that right leg back. Breathe in and out. So from here, the hand stays where they are. You're gonna bend the left leg and maintain your balance if you can. Draw the right leg in towards the chest. Stand tall. Then release the hands. Finding your breath. You can just stay here in Namaskar Mudra. So great. Bring your right hand to your right hip for balance. The left hand catches the outer edge of the right foot. That's all you gotta do. So it sounds easy, but it's not. Each side is gonna feel different. Maintain your drishti. You know where we are. Then if you have an inhale, maybe you micro bend the right leg. So great or so great, 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 you can straighten the right leg. I mean, notice even I fall, and even I have tension in my body. And then inhale, take the right hand back. You can look at the right hand, but I want you to methodically and mindfully start to work your gaze towards the right hand. Again, remind yourself to draw tall and relax your eyes. If you fall, okay. It's not a big deal. So notice in your breath. Stretch out the left leg, reach the crown of the head towards the ceiling, and lengthen the spine. Breathe in. When you have it, you come forward, bend the right leg, reach the hands down, belly in, stand like a goddess. Exhale, right foot down. Inhale, hands reach up, reach back, take a back bend if it's available. Exhale, give thanks. Forward fold, Utanasana. Excellent, everybody. Inhale, lengthen, flat back. Send the right leg back. Left leg back. Downward facing dog. Bring your forearm on the mat. Finding your shoulder. Finding your length. Make sure you're not interlacing the hand. Just pushing those elbow. Draw shoulder down. Look towards the knee. Now, maybe your legs are a little bit wider. I want you to start to walk in into a little bit tighter dolphin. And then feel your core draw in and up. Shoulders down. And girls, if this is too much, you walk back. Noticing your breath. Noticing your hamstring. Lengthen the spine. Breathe in and out. Now, Walk your legs back, and then inhale, come forward into your plank. Rolling forward, yogi push-up or knee, chest, chin. Elbow hugging, inhale, up dog. Noticing your breath. Look to the right to release the shoulder and neck. Look to the left, lengthen the spine. 
push back into your plank. Exhale, downward dog. Great job, everybody. Inhale, take the right leg up. First, reach that right leg all the way to the ceiling. Push into the thumb and index finger. Bend the knee, open the hip. As you exhale, walk the right leg behind the left. Inhale, lift the hip, open the chest. Relax the shoulder. Extend the right hand forward and follow the gaze of the right hand. Left leg is straight or bent. Right hand down. Right away. Be honest with your body. Bring that right leg in between the hands. Badra, badra, sinal, one. If it took you one second, great. Two seconds, great. Three seconds, great. Five seconds, great. As long as you're doing it mindfully. Interlace the hand. You're in warrior one. Open the chest. Finding your shoulders. Lean more forward now. We're going to lift that left leg up again. Extend to the ball of the foot. Lengthen the spine. I find that when you repeat things, it gets easier, isn't it? So belly in, rib cage in. Then inhale, knuckles draw down. Then draw that left knee towards the chest. So try to root that right leg. Push into the right side of the body and draw shoulders down simultaneously. Hands come into Namasta Mudra. Left hand to the left hip. Right hand to the outer edge of the right foot. You don't have to go any further. If you're further to go, extend the left leg forward. Push in to the right foot and draw the left hip down. When you have it, try again. Left hand to the back of the room. You can start to look at the left hand if you have it, if you fall. Remember, it's called yoga practice for a reason. Breathe in and out. Stand like a goddess that you are. Coming forward, draw the knee to the chest. Hold it here. Breathe in and breathe out. Release the left foot on the mat. Legs are together. Inhale, hands reach up. You can stay here, extend it. You can take a back bend, open the chest, open the back foot. Exhale, hip bend, forward fold. Bravo. <laughs> Lengthen the spine. You're doing great. Bend the knee, flat the hands on the mat. That step or jump or hop back. Stronger than that now, or knee, chest and chin. Inhale, up dog, shoulder down. Look to your left side, pushing to those thumb and index finger. Look to the right side. Come forward, stay on the toes, and push yourself into your plank, modified plank. Feel your lower lumbar, feel your core, and lower the hip down, up dog or cobra. You're on the top of your toes now. Look down and push into those hands into plank, tailbone under. Notice in your breath, lower the hip down into your up dog. Tuck the toes under, push back into your downward dog. Congratulations. Notice in your breath. So finding your shoulder. Bend the left leg as you take it all the way up. Push in the ball of that foot. Lengthen those hands forward. Bend the knee. Look to the left armpit. Neck is long, shoulder is soft. As you exhale, maybe you come into wild thin. Hips are opening, inhale. Right hand, left hand reach forward, push into those right hand and lift the sternum. Lift the chest, drawing those tailbone down. Breathe your right leg straight. Breathe in and out. Eyes are soft. Right thumb on the mat, index finger as well. As you have it, inhale, drawing that left leg forward and come into warrior one. However long it took you, there is no judgment. Lengthen the spine. Square the hip, draw your belly in and out. Knee over your ankle, finding your breath. Bring your hands down. Especially if you have tight shoulder, you can either put a, a strap and draw down. Maybe the palms come to touch. 
Left knees forward, square the hip, finding your left. Then inhale, start to lean forward, energize the right leg. Inhale, lift back, opening. Again, here is not time to rest. It's time to push in that right foot. Crown of the head, lengthen shoulder down. And when you have it, inhale, bend in the right leg to allow the right knee to draw in. Maintain your balance. You can use the wall and bring the hands in Namaste. So you don't have to go any farther. Maybe here is okay. You're balanced here or you're using the hands on the wall. Right hand is going to come to the right hip to make that right hip to be honest with yourself and catch the right foot with the left hand. Start to lengthen the spine. You can, you can just say, yeah, this is enough. When you have an inhale, straighten the right leg. Yeah, so if you're running, cycling, you then pull the right hand back. Pushing that left leg, don't be afraid to fall and draw your right shoulder down. Scoop your belly in, suck it in, lengthen the spine, straighten the left leg. Feel stronger as you the crown of the head reach to the sun and lengthen your, your body. It's a twist, it's hamstring, it's quad, it's hip. When you have it in here, looking forward, draw that knee towards the chest. Finding your shoulder, standing tall if you can. Release the right leg to knee to the left. Inhale, scoop those hands all the way up. Belly in, back is flat, reach back, take it back, bend. Exhale, always giving thanks. Forward fold, Utanasana. Great job, everybody. Inhale, look forward to lengthen. Plant the hands on the mat. Either step back or jump back. Charanga, Dandasana. Push into those hands, up dog. Finding your breath. Finding your length. Exhale, top and back. Downward dog. Breathe in, right leg lift. Bend knee, open the hip. Right leg behind the left, wild thing. Opening the chest. So finding your shoulder, lifting the sternum. Wherever you are, remember it's yoga practice, not yoga excellence. Right hand down. And energize the right leg in between the half. Vidra Vidrasana 2. 60 degrees on the left foot, 90 on the right foot. Inhale. Rise it up. Warrior two. So instead of saying excellence, maybe it's yoga practice. Now with less judgment. Finding your breath. Shoulder down. So as you stay in the warrior two, think there's an imaginary chair on the knee here. See where you can relax the face. From here, we're gonna go for flying warrior. A lot of balancing in this class. So right hand reach forward. So lengthen that left hand back. Inhale, lift, and fly. As you fly, the right hand pulls forward, the left hand pulls back. Lengthen the spine. Maybe drawing that right hip underneath, and then bring the left leg to meet with the right. Mountain pose, great job. Inhale, hands reach up. Exhale, trace the midline, forward fold. Utanasana. Bend the knee, rise up, chair pose, Utkatasana. So body's upright, and then lean forward, push the hip back, almost like you're a bear. So pushing the hip, reaching the hand forward. Exhale, plant the hands on the mat, fingertip or palm, step back or jump back. Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, up dog, finding your breath. Exhale, downward dog. Don't let the noise disturb you from the construction. Even in India, there's rickshaw happening and we're still practicing yoga. So the mind fluctuation, we want to keep it constantly focused. Inhale, take the left leg up. Try to take it up, bend the knee, open the hip, look to the left armpit, bend it in, repaging. Right leg behind the left. Walk then, open the chest. 
extend, push into this right hand. Get a front body stretch. The chakra system is thanking you for being open and relax your shoulder. So when you have it, left hand down. Right away, left leg in between the hand. Warrior two, 60 degrees. Inhale, left hand is your drishti, is where you look at. Right shoulder is relaxed. Tuck the tailbone under. So you can even run your hands down. And extend those hands front and back. So right leg is equally active, knees bent. Remember, it's yoga practice, not excellence. No one is judging but yourself. So when you can really find that I'm enough, I'm okay, this is what I need today, then you are practicing yoga. So with the noise in the background, just focus on your own breath. Now, flying warrior, you're gonna reach that left hand forward, right leg stays active, belly in, then inhale, lift. If you drag, it's okay, if you wobble, it's okay. Right hand reach back, extend, lengthen the spine, shoulder down, biceps and tricep hugging the hand, and right leg reach back, open the hip. Right leg meets with the left, come into mountain pose, hands reach up, hands by the side. Finding your length, find stillness for a moment, tailbone under, belly in, rib cage in, shoulder down. Inhale, hands reach up, reach high. Trace the midline, forward fold, hinge from the hip. Uttanasana, standing forward fold. Shake the head, yes and no. Now, bend the knee, chair pose, Utkatasana. Tuck your toes under, knees under the other hand pose. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Reach those hands back and up. Yeah, inhale, coming back to chair pose. Tuck the tailbone under. Finding your breath, exhale, reach the hands back, knees bent, and hands reach all the way to the ceiling. Relax your head. Bend the knee, knees together, chair pose. Pop the belly in, tailbone under. Reach the hands back, knees bent, reach up, legs straight. Relax the head. Bend the knee, Chia, Utkatasana, finding your breath. And then reach forward like a deer, you hugging a deer. <laughs> and then reach the shoulders down, hugging in, squeezing in. Exhale, forward fold. Utkatasana, relax the head. Bring the legs hip distance apart, so maybe you wiggle it back. Your fist is your hip distance. So it's a great way to measure. Peace finger, grab your big toe. Paragustasana, thumb locks it up. Look forward to lengthen the back body. Legs are straight. Then exhale, forward fold. Elbow bends to the side. Head reaches towards the toes. So as you step on your toes, you lift a little bit of your heel and your head reaches towards the earth. So if I have the block and bolster right in front of me, as I pull in, I more want to reach forward as to reach back. Lengthen the spine, relax the shoulder. Feel your hamstring, the back of your leg. Then inhale, look forward, lengthen. Exhale, bring the hands underneath your feet. If you've grown from the first A, B is hands underneath your feet, the same distance. Lengthen the spine, pull the belly in and up. As you exhale, elbow this time display outward and forward as the head reaches towards the earth. Make sure you're not locking up your knee. You're drawing the kneecap up and relax the head and shoulder. Run that across the shoulder girdles and lengthen the back of the legs. Feel your back body. Maybe the head comes towards the earth, maybe not. Then inhale, release the hands underneath you. 
Bend the knee, chin towards the chest, and slowly rise up, one vertebra at a time. Head is the last to come up. Excellent. Legs are together. Inhale, sweep the hands all the way up. Left hand down. Extend the right hand up, side stretch, and reach to the left side. So we're also working forward and back. I mean, mostly forward most of the day. Try to release your shoulder. Noticing your side stretch. Then inhale, come back to center. Right hand down, palm facing the knee. Inhale, left hand reach high, shoulder soft, and reach across. So again, as you hinge from the head, thinking about your side body as your shoulder draw down. Relax, and the chin is level with the chest. Extend and push the left leg in to the mat as well. Come back to center. Hands to jump. And then bring the hands behind you. Fingers pointing towards your shoulder. So finding your length, push your hip forward. So follow the gaze and look back. Okay, continue looking forward. So as you push your hip forward, Maybe your hands switch towards your thigh. Belly in, rib cage in. Eventually, you reach the hands back. Hinge from the hip. And then reach forward with the hands. Forward fold. Relax the head for some time. Eyes open. Then inhale, look forward to lengthen. Step the right leg back. Warrior two, Vedrapadrasana two. Bend the knee, extending, shoulder down, right hand down, peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. So really finding that deep bend on that left leg, extending, coming back to warrior two. Option one, left elbow, left knee, right hand reach out across. So try not to rest your belly to your thigh like this, yeah? We want to keep that elbow separating the chest and the knee. Option two, you extend and catch the right hand, drawing that shoulder down, binding here. Left knee's bent. You can start to draw your shoulder and look up. A little bit more advanced, but work on your breath. Whichever variation you have, we're going to come back into warrior two. Straighten the left leg. Left hand reach forward, hinge from the hip. Left hand to your chosen spot block, chin or toes. Tuck the left sitting bone under. Right hand reach up. Triangle pose, three kanasana. Remember those shoulders to be nice to them. Make sure you're breathing in and smiling. Right hand is going to pull you up. You're going to reverse that right hand down to your right leg and take the left hand over, opening the shoulders. You can challenge yourself by lifting the right hand and extending. Coming back, warrior two, noticing your breath. Right hand to the mat, pivot your right leg and take the left hand up. You say twist, so bend the knee, open the chest, Extend the right leg back, lengthen the spine. Noticing your right hand on the mat, pushing the right hand, lift the sternum. Then we're gonna energize the right leg flat on the mat and come into side plank. Left leg stacks and open. Noticing your breath. Finding your shoulder. Now skip the left foot, the top of the leg on the mat, and draw the elbow and right knee to touch in the center. Inhale, extend, draw taller, and then hug it to touch, just for five. Extend, and draw in, extend, and draw in. Last two, draw in, last one, draw it in, and extend, and bring the right foot down. How are we doing? Left hand up, left hand on the mat. Find your breath, forearm on the mat, extending, 
Drawing the shoulder down. Core engage. Come back into your plank. Yogi push up. Up dog, open your chest. Finding your breath. Tuck your toes under. Downward dog. Bravo. Finding your breath. Lengthen the spine. Inhale. Take the right leg up. Bend the knee, open the hip. Right leg behind the left, walk in. Stretch out, extend. Noticing your right hand and the left thumb and index finger on the mat. As you have it, bring yourself into warrior two, right away. Noticing your breath, noticing the right hand, noticing the left leg. So sit nice and tall, hug your belly in, and think about what the warrior pose means here. Noticing your shoulder. You can adjust if you've gone too wide. Make sure you're not slipping and sliding. Peaceful warrior, reverse warrior. Drawing that right knee forward, right hand reach and shoulder come down. You can start to look towards the sun, noticing, remember it's practice, not excellence. The excellence is achieved through practice. Coming back to warrior two. So if you did your right elbow to right knee, that's what you do here. Extend it. Again, noticing when as you use the elbow to open the hip, you achieve that hip opener. <laughs> Make sure you can smile at yourself, no matter how serious you think it is. Breathe in. And maybe you bind it. You bind. You're catching the left elbow, trying to push into the right and the left foot and drawing the shoulders down. So one is A, one is B. And wherever you are, you're going to start to release back to warrior two. Finding your leg, straighten the right leg, trikonasana, hinging from the hip, reaching that right hand forward and down to your chosen spot. Block, mat, chin, toes, and take the left hand up. Trikonasana. Notice in your breath, especially if you are looking at yourself in the mirror, or if you can visualize what you look in space, make sure you're not giving me a Beyonce by sticking your bum out. You know, draw that right sitting bone under. If I push you against the wall, your back is flat. Belly, draw in and up. Left hand pulls you up, keep that right leg straight, but the knee is not locked. Left hand down. Get a nice stretch on the front of that groin. Right leg straight, right hand back. The extra brownie point is the left hand reaches back. Noticing your back. Coming back to warrior two. Smiling at the right hand. Left hand draws you down. Right hand pulls you up. Noticing the left hand. Right big toe press on the mat. Pushing the left hand to broaden across your chest. And when you have it, drop the left foot on the mat and draw your right leg on top of the right foot. You don't have to go any farther. So again, this might be challenging for you. Remember, it's practice. None of us were born in these poses. Right foot stays on the mat. The left leg and the elbow is going to touch. So inhale. Exhale, draw the elbow to touch for five. Extend, elbow to touch. Extend, draw in three. Extend, two good ones. Extend, last one. Hold one. Extend it out. Right hand down, left leg down. How are we doing? Finding your breath. Forearm on the mat. You're going to drop the hips to the left. Shake what mama gave you, right side, left side, right. Admiring the core, but for what it does, actually. Left, 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 right, right, right. Have fun with it. Who is watching? Who is judging? And come to stillness, lower the knee on the mat. 
come into hands and knees. You worked hard. Finding your breath, tuck those toes under, push back into downward dog. Bend the knee, jump forward, malasana. Finding your breath, elbow, draw in, open the chest. Smiling for being here. Take a big breath in. Exhale, push into those hands, lift the hip, toe heel your legs together. Forward fold, standing forward fold, relax the head. Class opposite elbow. Maybe you bend the knee, just let yourself like a rag dog. We've been going at it now. Finding your warmth, where you are comfortable. You can start to lift the toes and heels. Just noticing where you tend to have more weight. And release the hand. Slowly rise up, one vertebra at a time. Head is the last to come up. Awesome. Now, dancer's pose. I often say, dance like no one is watching. And that's what we will do here. So we start on the left side. You are balancing on the right foot. Left hand comes in, catch the left inner foot, and the knee is starting to touch. You start to feel the psoas and the head. Right hand reach high. Maybe that's where you are. If you have it, start to kick and reach. Kicking and reaching. Extending and reaching. Noticing your breath. And from here, we're going to transfer into our tree pose. Finding your breath. And bring the hands to Namaskar. Smiling. And then hands reach up to mimic the leaps. Opening the head, finding your breath, extending. Can you relax the shoulder? And release the left leg down. Find the weight on the left leg, bend the right leg. The right hand comes inside, drawing the shoulder down to catch the instep of the right leg. Left hand reach high, alongside the ears, belly in. You can, you can stay here, or you can start to kick and go forward and back. Continue kicking forward and back, forward and back. So the transition is once you have it, you come into tree. You can say Namaskar. You can reach the hands forward. Let your shoulders relax for a moment. Release. And from here, walk your legs out, finding your breath, opening, pointing your toes inward if you don't have sciatic problems. Use your hand, pin your hip forward, open the chest, drawing the shoulders down. Look forward, hinge from the hip, push those hip back. Maybe like you're conducting traffic or you're an orchestra, I'm not either. Then you catch your big toes. If you're unable to catch your big toes, just bring your hands to the block. So you're gonna catch your big toes, lengthen the head forward, and bring your head to the mat. Again, shake the head, yes and no. Broaden across your chest and lengthen. If your head is on the mat, you can take tripod head stand. Not, not required, but only if your head is on the mat. We're trying to relax, but for those of you that need uh, an inversion, you can take a tripod. It's just a brief thing. And then you come down. And from here, if your head has come down, bring right hand underneath your nose and take the left hand all the way up. Finding your breath. Switch hands. And then switch hands, draw your knee like a frog on the mat. Yeah? Did you see what I did? Legs are straight, knee, pop it on the mat. Now, if you have a ball stop, you use it underneath your knee. Yeah? This feels yummy. Yeah? And then bring your forearm 
on the mat. So again, there's no pain here. You can make a pillow, releasing the hips, any tension there. So being mindful, you can bring your legs to the baseboard of your wall if you are, you have one, and you can make a nice pillow and start to soften. If this is unavailable for you because you have bad knee, take Sutta Bodhi Kanasi. Yeah? This is more restorative because I have a pillow. If not, just sit on a block, Sutta Bodhi Kanasi. And then let the head hang, let the shoulders soften. And when you no longer need a, the box, you can take it off. Back is flat. Breathe. In and out. Relax your shoulder now. Start to quiet everywhere. You can continue to stay there. Or you can start to br bring yourself out of the frog pose and sitting on the block or the bolster and cross the leg, right leg in front of the left and push your knee onto the mat. No matter where you are, there's no judgment. It's a tough practice and push and draw the shoulders down. Lengthen the spine of your belly. So I want us to practice a little bit about our breath because often at time, we often rush through the yoga for one hour. Normally, I would say two hours yoga practice uh, because there's so many elements of yoga. I want you to draw the belly in. So breath of fire is like you're blowing a candle. But you're going to blow the candle and you draw the belly in. You're going to snap those belly in. So pushing the knee, palm open or close. So inhale. Relax the belly, just take a full breath in. Just blow the candle out and draw the belly in. Release, hand switch up. Interlace the hand, open the palms, draw shoulders down, lengthen the side body, ribcage, front and back. Release both hands on the mat. Right hand down, left hand across. Shoulder down, left hand down, right hand across. Coming back to center, open those hands like you need it. You're going to hug yourself. Give yourself a big hug. Mm. Mm. Rock side to side. Are you enjoying that hug? Mm. Open those hands. Make some noise and rock over. Hug yourself. Maybe tilt your head to one side. Mm. Who can love you more than you can love yourself? Who can spend more time with you than you can spend with yourself? Who can take care of you than you can take care of yourself? You are the hero. You are the hero. Bring the hands to the thought eyes. The light in me honors and cherish the light in each and every one of you. Thank you. Namaste. How about a smile? <laughs> Thank you. I enjoy teaching once again. It's my pleasure to guide. Drink some water. Eat whatever calls for your attention. I see all of you soon. Enjoy. <laughs>